Hello again, welcome to a daily run. Isaac, Isaac run. I believe it goes to Mom's heart today. Yeah, Mom's heart. So Isaac, we re-roll everything that we don't like. And we take things we do. Serpent's Kiss is great. It gives us poison damage, and it also ensures, well, causes, I suppose, anything that dies, I believe of poison damage, or perhaps just dies at all, gives it a chance uh, to drop a black heart, which is actually really good. We did just pick up a Perthrow rune as well. Which means that at some point, we can either choose to re-roll something again if we maybe can't get the re-rolls we need on the floor, or uh, as a sort of an MLP opportunity, we can re-roll the D6 if we find something that is so outstandingly good for us, but is a spacebar item, that we want to take it, and then of course we can re-roll the D6 and win forever. Now I've looked into the the scores on Greed, but I didn't look into our friend's scores, I uh, just didn't really think of it. Scores on Greed, but the highest score is about 44,000. And to Mom's heart, that doesn't seem reasonable, so I'm going to expect there's a way of getting further than Mom's heart. Mom's heart is a sort of 25, 30,000 run. Man, these fucking heads turning into these spiders, and the spiders don't die. Uh, yeah, let's have more spiders, because what we were lacking is fucking spiders. So we're looking for the way through, and I'm expecting it to be a deal with the devil way through. And it's basically, I'm assuming that the shovel exists somewhere. If the shovel exists somewhere, then that is likely to be where we re-roll the d6. Of course, Mum's heart means we don't have to deal with Hush. And we don't have to deal... Well, we do have to do Boss Rush. We don't have an opportunity... Basically, we have to do Boss Rush, because if we don't do Boss Rush, we're not going to make up for it with Hush. We might as well take this, we haven't got anything else. We're well, going in all the right directions today. It's very, very useful because it means that we can go that little bit faster. We can avoid the floors that we don't... Uh, the floors? We can avoid the rooms we don't want to do. I will take the common cold because I like it. Just does a little bit of poison damage. We picked up a black heart completely at random. Probably because of Serpent's Kiss now I think about it. Uh, as mentioned, black heart will drop occasionally from these enemies. But that means that if we get hit... Which we haven't done yet. Ooh, range down is not great. If we do get hit, it's not the end of the world. We haven't squandered our deal with the devil. Because the black heart will protect us. We're going to continue to try not to get hit, though. I seem to be playing extremely well. Uh, not to either A, toot my own horn, or B, jinx it. Monstro. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, but, yeah. Doing pretty well. Not been hit yet by anything. Seems to have cleared the rooms reasonably quickly. We're already at... The monstro fight, we've nearly come to three minutes. The poison damage is really helping out. It's um, a little bit of damage over time when we're not shooting, or even when we are shooting, but it just it adds up. Everything adds up to a victory of a monstro without a single hit. Wow, two floors, zero hits. <coughs> Do I want that? Mm, good question. Do I want these? Uh, I'm going to go with absolutely. And... Absolutely. Now, those are two pretty good items. Reroll this if we get something good. That's pretty good, actually. I have to suggest maybe Mr. Dolly is a great item as well. Let's go and pick up this battery and then leave. Ah, no, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to go to the curse room with a full reroll in case there's something good in the curse room. It is. Athame. We don't need it. I'm rerolling it. It's Guppy's head. We'll use it. And. Perthro. Yes, this is amazing. Right, let's explain what just happened. I didn't want the Athame, and I will explain why. The item we picked up from the deal with the devil, well, there's two. There's this one that's bouncing around the screen. You can see just about, I hope, that it has a black aura, or a shaded aura. Anything in that aura takes damage, except me, obviously, because it's mine. When I'm in that aura, I do more damage. That's amazing. I shouldn't have to tell you how awesome that is. This thing is bouncing around the room doing damage. That big black circle you just saw is the other one. Uh, more of the void. If you fire for three seconds and then let go, you get that big black circle. That big black circle will do a lot of damage to anything that hits it and has a chance of anything that it kills to drop a black heart. So we've got a lot of black hearts going on. 
all of this. I took Pisces. Did I want Pisces? Uh, it's a tears upgrade. Pretty decent. All of that was in order to explain why I didn't take the item that was in the curse room on the previous floor. The reason I didn't take that item is that that item does the same thing as the more of the void, which is this big black circle thing, except when you get hit. Which means we have to get hit and kind of makes it a little bit less valuable because we can't control it. You know, we have to aim it after we get hit. Do as much damage with the benefit of being hit, I suppose, if you follow. When we get hit, we then have to try and put ourselves even more in harm's way to try and get the benefit out of it in the vague hope that if we do that, please let me have more of the void. If we, in the vague hope that if we do that, we will maybe get our black heart back that we lost from taking the damage in the first place. Whew, what an explanation. All that means is the Athame was not that great for us because we already have a thing that does it but better. Uh, what the fuck is this floor though? So I re-rolled the Athame and the range upgrade into a latch key, which is decent. We rolled the Athame into Guppy's head. Also the Athame is a passive item. Not super brilliant. We re-rolled it into an active item. Which was Guppy's head. Guppy's head? Oh, shit me. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Guppy's head is a Guppy item, but we don't want to keep it. Because all it can do for us is generate maybe three flies every room. So, we picked it up in order to have got the credit for picking it up. And we put it back down again and re rolled it again with the Perthro rune. Still with me? Perthro rune gave us ceremonial robes, which is a damage upgrade. Oh, no keys. It's a damage upgrade and gives you three black hearts. I think three. So therefore it was a good defensive upgrade as well. All of which means we did extremely well on second floor and we spent an entire floor explaining it. Oh, <laughs> walk into the uh, dark one. Jesus. The only damage I've taken so far has been dumb damage. Now here's a question. If we take this now, there's a chance there's a two heart deal in here. I'm going to go in here first, it's Krampus. There was still a chance. We'll re-roll that, we get Camby and Conception. Camby and Conception. If I get hit, I think 20, 12, 20 times, something like that, it will spawn a familiar. I'm not sure whether there's a pool for familiars, but it will spawn one. Uh, and that can be really useful. The way we're playing this run, I'd be surprised if for some reason we got hit that many times, although it does happen as you get on a little bit, as you go further into the game, you do start to take more and more dumb damage. Well, I do. So there's a chance we'll get hit 12 times, we'll go into the curse room, why not, we can afford it. Uh, why not, because it's shit. Never mind. Never mind, the devil. What else did we get? Uh, the knockback shot from high seas, I think we've got. It's a tears upgrade. But it causes our adversaries, our enemies, to be knocked back a lot further than they would have been had we not picked it up. It's not the end of the world. It's just mildly pesky. We got hit on that room just because it was hard. We don't have a key, so we can't get into this item room. Which is a shame, because normally that's the goal. So, I'm just going to explore a little bit so we can get a key. If we can't get a key, we will actually have to forego this item, because there has literally not been a key for us to take. We'll go in here, which is very... jeez. Oh, I'd like to do that room as well, but I can't. Let's go into the arcade. We've got a little bit of time, I think we're doing alright on time. We'll play this. We'll get the coin, we'll play this. We'll get the coins. We'll play this until we get a key out of it. Excuse me. A key. No. Maybe this thing as well. A heart, that will let us play this again and get some more coins. By the way, these things can produce flies if they go wrong. That's a little booby prize. I'm really looking for keys, actually. I could explode him, that's a good idea. There's a heart there. It gives us another play on the thing, nope. I'll explode this thing, because it's a dick. Just bombs. 
Yeah, brilliant. Uh, I really want a key <laughs> so that I can at least get into the item room. That's more money for us. Uh, that's more money for us. This is not going well. I was rather hoping that a key would be more more readily available than this. That's a bomb again. You're basically the agent of your own destruction in this situation. Uh, excuse me. Nope. Key? Key? That's a... I don't even care what that is. Well, we have plenty of bombs, so we do still have a recourse for keys, which is this uh, chest over here. Hmm. Failing this, which we did, I don't know how we can get a key. Uh, so, I will quickly check whether there's a secret room which may contain keys. That was a good guess. It's fucking one of these again, isn't it? No keys. Keys? No keys. Uh, I think Black Feather is decent. It's probably better than the uh, the fork because the fork's only going to give us regen, and we don't really we don't really need regen. We spent a lot of points and a lot of time on this floor, and I nearly walked on the spikes, but everyone saw me do a, a double take there. Wow, no keys at all. I guess we'll re-roll this into meat, which is the same thing with some damage attached. So good, I guess. So we've got some decent damage upgrades. We've got a decent tiers upgrade, which is more important, I think. More spirit hearts is fine. There's a key. I mean, it's not too late because we do want to go into the item room on this floor too, so it's not like it's completely useless, but it does feel a little bit, you know, a little bit cheeky, if you don't mind me saying so, game. So many black hearts though, it's basically impossible for us to die. It's a shame we can't do hush because normally this is a great situation to be trying to do hush. Let's just not bother with those. We can't pick up that spirit heart, so I'm even going to try. We can get into here. Uh, I will start it. Ah, oh, we can continue it. That's good. Uh, it's upsetting that on the previous floor we didn't get the opportunity to do the boss trap room. Mainly because we didn't have any keys, so we couldn't. Uh, that wasn't a great chest. Probably wasn't worth opening the second chest. The whole point of being in this room is to do the room. Not to get the stuff out of it. So now we're down to one key again, so I suspect using it on the item room is our best bet. Um, we don't have enough money for the shop. If we get up to, you know, 15, 20 cents before we find the shop, then sure. But, uh, nope, we found the item room already, so... I mean, it pretty much answers itself. That was a uh, succubus there, just bouncing around. Killing everything for me, didn't even have to worry about it. Ooh, something exploded on me. Probably, uh, probably couldn't have avoided that particular damage, if I'm being honest. Uh, I could have avoided that damage by not walking backwards into the thing that I could plainly see was about to hit me. The mulligan. We picked up the mulligan. Uh, how do I feel about the mulligan? It's okay. It's kind of like poor man's guppy. Um, what the mulligan does is produces flies. I think there's a one in six chance if you get in a fly when you hit something. Or when you do damage with a tear. You can see how useful this um, more of the void is, especially on an enemy like this, because you can't shoot the front of this fucker, and it's impossible to hit the back of it. Uh, experimental treatment? Probably going to take it. Let's see what happens to us. Our fire rate may have gone up a little bit. That's pretty nice. I don't feel too much slower. Maybe we're a tad slower. Not remarkably, not meaningfully slower. I think uh, experimental treatment has actually done okay for us. And we do take experimental treatment. Our, our shots are a little bit smaller. Maybe we're a bit weaker. by like doing a bit less damage, but it's really not noticeable. It's, it's not, it doesn't feel noticeable. Obviously it is noticeable, because I noticed. Man. Succubus bouncing around doing all that damage. I don't even have to shoot anything anymore. It's, um, it is definitely the agent of our ludicrous amount of speed right now. Oh, we've already found the secret room. Could be a second secret room down here, though. We have so much time. We've got seven minutes to get down to the boss room, basically. Uh, that is not it, so that was somewhat a waste of my time and everybody else's. 
Uh, I'm just going to leave though. I've got seven... Seven coins. What can we do with seven coins? Maybe we'll have a look in these for some cards. A black heart. Okay. Now we've got... <laughs> we can't even take black hearts now. That's how strong we are. We might as well. Uh, three cent pill. Not ideal. Nah. I think it was worth the key to check. Because you can get seven cent items. And if there had been one, it might have been worth doing it. Uh, we've done this room, apparently. No deal with the devil. Didn't even feel like taking that red heart. That's how complacent I am. And uh, complacency breeds complacency. Or something. Now we're back to completely full HP. We can go in here and come out again. Tank the damage because there's a black heart outside. We didn't even need to. It's fine. We'll fill that back up. We're not slow. Normally, oh look, we've got an incubus to go with our succubus. That's Cambian Conception right there. And the best thing about Cambian Conception, it can happen again. You know, you go into enough curse rooms, you're going to end up with more, more familiars. Please. Not valuable. Can't even take a black heart. Loving it. We're loving it like that. Yeah. Nice kid. Whew. That was a tinted rock. It could contain small rock, so I will explode it. Uh, I actually took some damage for once. It didn't contain small rock, but it gave us our bomb back as a sort of consolation prize. And now we have a spirit heart, which feels bad. It's a luck upgrade. What does luck do? Well, I'll tell you what luck does. There are various tier effects which are based on luck. Um, the tooth shot from Tough Love is one of the more prominent examples, more obvious examples anyway. Uh, and it increases the chance, or it affects the chance of consumables dropping at the end of a, a room. So that's basically it, as far as I know. So it affects when things are going to proc. Ooh, I avoided that. And it affects consumable drops. Death card versus devil card. Devil card is probably going to be better for boss rush, and we're definitely going to have to do boss rush because we want the points. And I don't know how we're going to choose this game and get beyond Mom's heart, but I suspect it's going to involve looking for second secret rooms, the super secret rooms, because they can contain an AWAS rune, and an AWAS rune means we can keep going. Nope. What any of this shit? What the hell, game? There's a battery over here. See if we can find the boss fight so we know where we're going at least. We'll pick up this battery, it's very close to the item room. Gives us the opportunity to re-roll again. Did waste a little bit of a charge going into that room, defeating it. Wandering all the way back over here and doing something about it. Is there a secret room in here? I expect not. Ooh, Firemind! I am actually going to take it, even though it's very dangerous. Uh, apparently the explosions from Firemind are causing me a, a great amount of joy and pleasure. 22 cents, we'll go into the shop. Shop gives us steam sale. <laughs> Take it, I guess. Uh, and see what the card is. It's a strength card. Not useful. Probably not really worth buying that card. Like, from, a, from an absolute standpoint, why would I buy that card? That's a death card, I don't want it. Because it wasn't a... It wasn't a playing card. You can tell by the back of it. It was a tarot card. Uh, should we do that extra bit of the floor? We might as well. Um, a tarot card... Well, we know what the set of tarot cards are. You know, Devil, Death, Magician. That sort of set. The playing cards are the two of somethings. So the two of spades, the two of diamonds. They tend to duplicate things. Also a playing card is the Joker, which will give us a deal with the Devil, which could be the sort of thing that... Uh, that bony fired just before it died, which is shenanigans in my opinion. Did I see a tinted drop? Yes. Small rock, please. Not small rock. No way, apparently, of getting into the boss trap room, which is a shame, because I would like to. Maybe teleport would have... Hmm. I mean, I'm wondering whether teleport was the correct thing to take, because it's possible for teleport to get into the error room, which we've not even seen on these dailies yet. The error room is a special room which you can get to, by teleporting, and only by teleporting. So we'll beat Mom in record time. 
We'll generate black hearts just in case we fuck up like we did just there. Come on now. Firemind laying down this fire means anytime Mom pops out of that side, it's going to be uh, the end of her. We get a choice because we're only going to the Mom's heart fight, so we will take that. I would very much like a re-roll at this stage. We don't actually uh, get one. That is a big problem, actually. That could have been the seam. That could have been what we needed to do, is to have a re-roll at that point. And these are not re-rollable either because we don't have a re-roll. Oh, I will take Dry Baby because the alternative is Libra, which can ruin runs. We'll see what Dry Baby does reasonably quickly. Um, but in essence, it intercepts shots and can occasionally have the Necronomicon effect, which is the effect where it deals some amount of damage to everything on the floor. Or, or in the room, not on the floor. We can uh, use our more of the void whenever we start to get overwhelmed by ads, which is... Uh, oh, I don't know whether the term is used outside of Memorpagas, but ads are additional. Anything that comes along with a boss that is not the boss. So, minions. So if we get too many minions all up in our grill, that was um, very strange, but it happened. We can pop more of the void and try and get it to sort of uh, deal with them for us. Somewhat like this. It does do a lot of damage, but it comes along with the danger that you'll, you know, hit yourself. I don't know, walk into the, the things that you're trying to get rid of. That's a good use of it, actually. Probably my least favourite part of death is when the sides come from off screen and get the shit out of me. Horse? Horsey? Oh, no, more of this. So I'm gonna choose to stay up in the corner here. That's my probably most sensible way of doing it. Stay above the Madden crowd. Make sure you know what enemies are turning up. And then keep an eye on uh, little Gertie there, Gertie Jr. That was bullshit. Uh, I think you'll find that Mega Fatty pulled me in its vortex in such a way that I couldn't avoid... Ow, Gertie Jr. Never mind, there's so much HP on the ground. Don't really need Burnt Penny. Maybe we could do with Burnt Penny? There's plenty of HP on the ground. I'm more concerned by the fact that I'm taking damage that I shouldn't be taking. If I can uh, convince War to step in the fires, that'd be pretty slow. And get rid of Gish. Come on! Gish is a lot tankier than you give Gish credit for. Unless you know that and then start giving it credit for being tanky. You know what I'm saying? You think, oh Gish, that'll be over quickly. No, I don't know, over quickly. And Incubus, Succubus. Both of them, in fact. Incubus especially is almost literally doubling our rate of fire. In Incubus is the item that Lilith starts with. And we've seen Lilith runs go really, really well. <laughs> Usually because in a Lilith run, you're, you've got like a billion T incubuses right now, all pointing in the same direction, all shooting the shit out of everything else on the screen. Where are we? We've got to be halfway through at least by now. Let's try and get rid of um, the stain here first. You can probably not think about the husk bouncing around there. The husk? I think it's a husk. I should stop shooting because... Did we kill it already? Maybe we killed it already. No, it's there you are. Yeah, I was going to say, I was pretty sure we hadn't killed it already. I think we should try and keep the Fallen in one piece here whilst we get rid of the thing that is two pieces. Black Feather. I am going to stick with Bloody Penny. Uh, Burnt Penny. Burnt Penny causes bombs to drop when you uh, pick up pennies. Random basis, but it happens. Try not to be next to that when that goes wrong. I thought they could shoot each other, but that quite plainly just failed to happen entirely. The bloat exists on this floor. There we go. Don't want a bloat in my life. And how did that hit me? I'd call bullshit, but I, I genuinely don't know what hit me just now. <laughs> Some of these fights, I have noticed, tend to be fights where I have no fucking idea what's going on. And the bloat is definitely one of them. You know, I can be halfway across the room from the bloke, on all of a sudden, I've taken damage. And I'm going, WTF, you fucking dick. Like, maybe I've stepped on creep or something that I didn't even realise was uh, 
part of the fight. But Float's definitely one of them. This uh, adversary is often the second one, but the adversary is fine if you have the opportunity to run rings around it, which is why double adversary is often terrible, especially on the chest where you get double adversary in a tiny little room and you can't... Ah, it's going to hit me. It's fine. We didn't use the devil card. Probably should have used the devil card. Uh, is it worth using it now? Probably not. I know I said it would be useful on the boss rush room. The reason is, as opposed to the death card that we had before, is that death just deals damage to everything on the room. Everything on the, yeah, room, all at once. What's our other enemy here, by the way? Oh, too low? No, too low. I think I killed it already some time ago and didn't even notice. We are done. We don't want that. Sure. I mean, not taking it is worse than taking it. 16,000. Took a bit of damage, but we're still at full health. We've only got two floors left to really bust this open, so... Here goes. I mean, we could be happy that we played well. If we don't find whatever it is that caused the other people to manage to find the way... Uh, to 44 health. You know, we're going fast. We've got our Incubus helping out. We've got Succubus bouncing around, giving us a damage upgrade whenever we're inside it. This room can fuck itself. Uh, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was, so maybe I take back my possibly hasty, but I'm not going to commit to that, uh, assessment of the situation. Uh, that's a one room. That will re-roll everything that we've worked for. Which could be highly entertaining, or highly damaging. Perks. Perks! Perks. That's good to know, but I would like to have used it somewhere else. Alternatively, Perhaps there exists a... Perhaps there exists a self-sacrifice room. Two, Two of clubs is fine. I'm going to keep hold of the devil card. I think at some point we will find ourselves in a situation where we would be happy to have that extra bit of damage that the devil card does. The devil card is basically a one-shot book of Belial, which we saw yesterday from the Judas fight. Uh, run, I suppose. Do I want that? Not really. Do I want that? It's not as... <laughs> I'd rather have the orbital. Let's explore. Oh, there was a battery. Dumbass. Never mind. The speed at least helps. Probably more than the orbital would have. Uh, in case you're wondering what just happened, we got the belt. Because I rerolled the cube of meat, which we were guaranteed to get at least that or uh, the ball of bandages because we fought death. A joker card. This could be it. Uh, this is bullshit. However,. This is also bullshit. I should have picked it up, put it down. Then I would have had empty vessel, which would have been tremendous. But we didn't. Never mind. Uh, super secret room is an option. If we can find it. It tends to be a bit difficult to find. So I'm going to get the exploration bonus and try not to get a damage penalty as a result. Bombs, bombs are key. Well, now we've got eight bombs, which is... Better for purposes of finding the secret rooms, one of which is possibly here. Got plenty of keys now. It's not there. Careful here, these things can shoot quite far away. Okay, okay, die, die, die. Perks, range down, nope. Hmm, double monster. Uh, well, this is a place to be. For everyone in the know. Anyone who's anyone is fighting double monstro right now. You know nothing. We are actually down by one HP, which it makes me sad. Oh, got it back. Never mind. Yo, what's with the extra shitloads of fighting? Ooh, fire mind is dangerous like that. Ranger. Range up. Yep, bit of extra. The extra points from doing this room, the exploration bonus from this floor is going to be worth the effort, I think, because not only did we have the exploration bonus from literally exploring, but we have the exploration bonus from the fact that we found this room whilst doing it, uh, and possibly a secret room too, if we look in the right place, I guess. I'm not quite sure where to look. Ha! Ah, I actually had the reaction time to dodge that thing, even though I shot it when I got in the room. Let's see about a secret room here. Yes. So that's a good uh, chunk of bonus. It's not that much, apparently. 
thought it was going to be a shitload, but it was like a few. You, you know, scientific units of points. I think the units of points is points. Like ones. Ooh, a set of pills. Well, that was shit. No, we don't have a pill. What did we have? I don't really care. <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, let's see if we can find the super secret room. Could be over here. Could have an AWAS rune in it. Oh, it's here! Oh, it's not great. Look, oh, yes. Bombs are key. Yeah. Telepills. Range down. Look up. Right. Telepills, error room. No, not an error room. Where are we now? Oh, I've got my devil card back. Brilliant. Well, that wasn't worth the time. I think we just lost a lot of our exploration bonus by having to backtrack so far. Uh, it's, it's the way the cookie crumbles. It ain't all wine and roses. Sometimes it's handcuffs and cheese. <sighs> we could have empty vessel right now. We could be flying, but we're not flying because I didn't take the thing and then re-roll the thing. I, I don't even know if that would have worked because... There's, I mean, it stands to reason there's at least some chance that doing that would have changed the seed so that we didn't get empty vessel as a result of the re-roll. Hopefully we get a deal with the devil on this floor. Maybe that's where the uh, the luck comes in to get us through. Or maybe this is where the Awas rune is. Or maybe we've missed the Awas rune. Or the deal with the devil that had the shovel in it. Or maybe the shovel's in a secret room. So There's still time is what I'm saying. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mara. Avoid that damage, please. This uh, Incubus can take out this entire room on its own. In one pass as well, not just over time. In one pass. But I didn't really need to be here. I'm feeling less and less valued. More and more replaceable. Hmm. There's definitely no secret room there. We can't get into the boss trap room, which is kind of annoying because we've been unable to get into the boss trap room for some time. And if I thought about it, that would have been a great reason to... I'm going to keep re-rolling this in case it turns into the shovel. Which can happen. Because the shovel is a secret room item. And we do not need the damage upgrade. Much as I would like to take Skinny Odd Mushroom, because Skinny Odd Mushroom is a fucking awesome item, we don't need it. And if we don't need it, I'm going to hold off on taking it. Just to try to break this game. Because we need to break this game. Uh, there's not going to be a secret room there. Because we already know where the single, the basic secret room is. Uh, it is Mr. Mega. That's not great. But we're still getting battery charges. So keep re-rolling until the fat lady sings. Or, you know, whoever you've got handy. Whoever you've got on staff for singing in order to, you know, end a performance. I'll take it. Until that person sings. Play on. Something. Thank you. Like, I really don't need to be using more of the void ever. I don't need the bombs, although the extra points are possibly a small advantage on everybody in my camp who didn't manage to figure out how to get further than the mom fight. The mom's heart fight. Do do no. No tinted rocks. Battery charge is imminent, but we can't get rid of this HP to try and get the points out of the boss trap room, which is a shame. But not the end of the world. There's super secret room, and somehow I dodged a shot that was coming perfectly towards me. Um. <gasps> it was. Oh my god, this is where it's at. This happened before. This is like the first time we broke the game. Perthro. Hagalaz. Answers. Yera. Perthro. <gasps> Dick. Right. <laughs> Put this bomb here for the sake of speed. Reroll this. No. Reroll again. No. More bow. Put it in. Press it. And does it help? Didn't tell us anything. We, again, we're not worried about... Uh, no, we need the Perthro. We're not concerned about... Infamy? Maybe. Time, because we can't possibly do... Um, ah, let's Yarrow the Perthro in. Should have done that before. Didn't think about it. Answers. No. Perthro. Yes. Perthro. It's not possible to do boss... Uh, hush. 
at all. That's answers. Where's my other Perthro? Hello's Perthro. So we don't need to worry about her. What is that? Blank card. Pick it up and put it back down again. Blank card Perthro would have been great if you fucking told me about that before. Never mind. So we don't need to worry about the fact we're currently at 32 minutes because we cannot get into the hush fight regardless of what we do. We can at least beat Mom's heart. See if we get uh, another reroll at some point along the way. See if the deal with the devil gives us a shovel. It's still possible. We haven't. We're not beat yet. Uh, it's also possible that we get a natural reroll, so we should save that battery that's out there. Our entire competition in this run is based on the idea that we could possibly get a way through to the next room. I can't believe there's no Awas room in a room full of like seven rooms. Wow, I can't believe we're not fast enough to get around that. There is a deal with the devil. It does not contain what we wanted it to contain. Nor can we re-roll it. I might as well just take Abaddon. It's pretty sweet. We've got Leviathan transformation, which is also pretty sweet. Means we can get these extra uh, extra, extra pennies here, which is a few more points. And this room has no fucking combat in it. What? You arse. Although, we can now go and fight the boss trap room. This is as min maxi as I have ever seen. But I am entertained. Are you not entertained? You're entertained. Deal with it. Uh, excuse me? I. Uh, I think Firemine blew up in my face, even though it didn't hit anything. Maybe Loki has, like, technically spawns in the middle to begin with. I don't know. Really don't know. Why take Abaddon? The thing about Abaddon is that it will always... I could have taken both, actually. I could have had two Incubuses. Uh, nope. And there's a battery, and then... After the battery, that is basically it. I have done absolutely everything in my power. <laughs> to re-roll this thing into the fucking shovel. Shovel, you dick. Well, it's done. Answers, the devil. Hagalaz, answers, Hagalaz. Yeah. Hagalaz. Answers. Nothing special on this floor, I guess then. Oh, I picked it up. There's a battery charge. Fucking dick. There's so many ways that I could have managed to find the shovel on this run. But I didn't. Could have re-rolled that devil room if we'd been there faster. But I didn't. 660th. 27,000 is a decent score for getting that far, I think. But 660th, I'm happy when we're in the top 1,000. And my damage penalty is not actually at 6,000 for one. So, thank you for watching. I actually enjoyed that run. Uh, a little bit of min-maxing at the end, but, you know, it is what it is. You've got to do it. You've got to try and get further in these games than everybody else. We didn't manage that, but thanks for watching me try and come back tomorrow when I will probably have another go at tomorrow's daily. Whew, and hopefully do a little bit better. See you then.